So this is Studio XO. We're here in London in our lab. Uh, basically, it's made up of four quarters, so we do all our coding and programming over on this side of the room. Then we have our kind of more traditional fashion, uh, sewing machines, pattern cutting table. And then in the hybrid space, we've got our 3D printers, all of our kind of lathes and, and um, tools to, to mix the hard and soft materials together. Inherently, we're designers, so we, we are interested in the artistry of design and, you know, very much EXO, we explore science fiction, we begin with a narrative, we imagine a world, but for us, it's really about making science fiction science fact. Nancy Tilbury is one of the pioneers by emerging technology and fashion. Together with her team at Studio EXO, she works to actively develop what they call digital couture experiences, which in basic terms means creating garments that are interactive and evolving. Her ultimate goal is to bring these ideas and concepts to the streets. But as a first step, they're creating extravagant outfits for the likes of Arcade Fire, Black Eyed Peas, and of course, Lady Gaga. So Lady Gaga had done the iTunes Festival and it was the first time that she played art pop, you know, many of the new singles, so it's a really exciting, exhilarating night. And we decided that we yeah. would create this almost like performance art. We created a dress called Anemone, which she wore in the evening after the events. And as she was leaving, to leave the venue, we set up a performance using Anemone where she came out to the crowd and the dress animated and released bubbles. She almost glided down the hill, so the conditions were beautiful. The press had to be very silent because it was very late, so you could just only hear the clicking of the cameras and the whirring of the dress together. These beautiful bubbles came out of nowhere, popping, making these structures. The fans were all clapping. Having been a designer that's been working with technology for nearly 15 years, you, you learn these, these really great tricks, and those tricks turn into a methodology, and that methodology determines the authenticity of Studio XO. You know, that's what makes our work special, that, that the, we start with an effect, we build a narrative in our minds, you know, we work out what it is that we want the machine to do, and everything else really falls into place. It's amazing the sound, you know, the fact that it's a garment with a factory inside. That the sound that it makes, the, the fact that it's building and producing bubbles, that you have these transformative pieces. So everything throughout the garment is 3D printed. So all of the mechanics of it are 3D printed. And then we have an architecture inside that's transforming the liquid across the, the, the garment into the varying places. So you really, you know, it is pure design engineering that happens to be dressed up as fashion. You know, philosophically, as a, as a project, we're, we're really, really keen to, t to tell people about this transformation in textiles, particularly in textiles and technology, and um, that even though it's fun and playful and it has all these kind of curious elements, it, it is a machine that's, that's transforming the way we dress. I think fashion future is a little bit more like fashion past. So we will invest in garments that may be higher price point. We'll look at uh, other types of models, so maybe subscribing to our clothes.
which is really interesting. You know, the idea that we may pay a subscription fee to have vessels that we can consume content. And, and ultimately, I believe that Generation Digital want to consume like that. You know, actually, the reason why they're going into these big shops is because of the speed at which they want to switch up their fashion. And if the surface of their clothes is transformable, well, they really need to do that. We really believe in Tumblr for the body. And I think that this is a really interesting time as kind of remix culture emerges. What, you know, what will that mean to fashion? I can recall a time with a very, very, very accomplished fashion designer who runs one of the biggest houses, who literally shuffled me out of the room and told me I was absolutely balmy at the Royal College. And um, I stood and uh, stood my ground and said, you are wrong. The digitization of clothing will happen. Technology will integrate. One day we will wear the, the surface of the computer on our bodies. He told me I was literally a mad thing and I needed to leave the room. I continued to argue with him until my professor told me time out. And, and I, if I got to meet him again, I would have the same argument with him, I'm sure. What we will want as fashion and technology companies is to drive forward towards technology that feels like silk. You know, technology that is as soft as wool, that is washable, that has all of the affordances that it's had historically. And that's going to be the hard job because we're still dealing with silicon, hard components, and, 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 and that's the transformation. We imagine in the future that as microcomputing happens and fibre science transforms that, that this will just be a nod. This is a nod towards uh, a, a new world that's coming. You know, it's almost like a brave new world of fashion. I don't think fashion is really, really almost prepared for um, computation, mechanics, hybrid design. You know, it's, it's, it's coming like a tsunami out of nowhere.